Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I have another preseason game, spring training game, whatever you want to call it, from my Elmwood Stratomatic Baseball League, where I will take my Providence Grays up in battle against the uh, vaunted Caseville Cannons of my division. They're a team in my division. They're always a pretty good team. Uh, they're always very solid. Um, they win a lot of games. Um, usually don't win the division only because we have another team in the division that's uh, pretty dominant. Uh, but they're usually like the second place team, the Caseville Cannons. But before I get on with that, I have an announcement to make, and that is that the Providence Grays have pulled off a blockbuster deal with the Bobtown perpetrators. Um, what we did, I actually, I dealt uh, Bellinger. It, it was, uh, you know, it hurt, hurt a little bit, stung a little bit, but I had to get pitching because we're a 20 team league. And if you don't have really good starting pitchers, you're not going to do well. And I'm still not going to do well this season, but I had to get a, a good ace-type starting pitcher in place and start building towards that. So what I actually ended up doing was I sent Bob Town my 18th round pick from next year's draft. I also sent him Homer Bailey, who I just drafted, and so he will have for five seasons. And I also sent him Bellinger. Those were the three pieces of the trade that he got from me. Now, what I got from him was, um, and the crowning uh, gem of the entire trade, was uh, Madison Bumgarner. Uh, Bumgarner will be a free agent. Um, he'll be free agent eligible next year. But in our league, we can reserve three guys who would otherwise have been free agents. And so I will just reserve him next year and keep him, uh, even though he would otherwise have been a free agent. But I got Bumgarner. I got Randall Gritchick, who hit 31 home runs last year for Toronto. I got Hunter Pence, who um, had a very good year, was injured for a lot of it, but he was an all-star, I think, last year. So um, he, um, but he's getting long in the tooth. Now, both Hunter Pence and Gritchick were just drafted by him, so I'll have them for five seasons, except I probably really won't have Hunter Pence for five seasons because, like I said, he's getting a little older. But Gritchick is... Uh, Gritchick's like 28, so he hit 31 home runs, and he's a 28-year-old outfielder. So I don't, I don't, I feel like that wasn't too bad. So I got those two and Bumgarner, and I also got um, uh, and I got his second-round pick next year and his fifth-round pick. So to recap, I received Bumgarner, Gritchick. Uh, Hunter Pence and Bob Towns' second and fifth round picks in next year's draft. He got my 18th round pick in next year's draft, uh, Bellinger and Homer Bailey. So uh, I think I did pretty good in that deal. I mean, like I said, it stung to lose Bellinger, not only because of how good a player he is, but also the fact that he would be under contract for the next eight years. So Bobtown has him for the next eight years if they don't want to get rid of him. But you have to get pitching in this league, and I had none. I didn't, I didn't have anybody big name pitching, you know, or with even a history of being an ace in the past. So I had to try to get Bumgarner and start towards that, um, in that direction. So, um Discussions lasted a day. <clears throat> so we were, uh, you know, we were in discussions. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. We were in discussions for a day over this entire deal. But, uh, you know, finally we, we um, agreed on what we were going to do and we got it done. Just say yes and we'll move on. All righty. So 
As I said, we are playing the Caseville Cannons of my division. A very good team year in and year out. And um, since I did the first game where I played Bobtown and I was home, in this game we will be the visitor. And I will be pitching the newly acquired Madison Bumgar. All righty. So, as I said, we are playing the Caseville Cannons of my division. A very good team year in and year out. And um, since I did the first game where I played Bobtown and I was home, in this game we will be the visitor. And I will be pitching the newly acquired Madison Bumgar. And you can see my line up there, Tim Anderson, Bryce Harper, Gallo, Mancini, Hunter Pence, Gritchick, Odour, Longoria, and Tom Murphy. So, I mean, I want to point out, my lineup is still quite good, even without um, uh, Bellinger. It would be better with him, but like I said, I had to go get uh, Bumgarner. So... We will now turn down the sound and we will get started with Tim Anderson up at the plate facing Garrett Cole. And you can see partly why uh, he is such a good team. Uh, Bryce Harper up with one out. Tim Anderson got it out and he strikes out. And now that brings up Joey Gallo with two down and nobody on base. And he strikes out. So he's coming to the plate now um, with uh, Bumgarner on the mound facing Byron Buxton and Buxton walks. Um, let me see if we uh, are watching him or not. Uh, we were watching him already. So um, I guess we'll just let um, Diaz hit away, and Diaz is out. He lines out. That brings up Miguel Sano with, uh, he's going to try to seal. And he makes it. So Buxton is now on second because he stole second, and there is one out with Miguel Sano at the plate. And that's a ground ball to shortstop. Um, I'm going to get the sure out at first, and now Buxton is at third with Hunter Renfro up, and he strikes out. So we got out of the inning. That brings up Trey Mancini for us, and he walks. And then that brings up Hunter Pence against Cole with one on and... Now one out because he got out. So Randall Gritchick is now up with Mancini in first and one out against Cole. And he strikes out. And Rough Ned O'Dor is up. And he strikes out. So now uh, Bumgarner is facing LeMayhew to lead off the bottom of the second with Caseville. The cannon's up and he grounds out the second. That brings up Carson Kelly. And he strikes out. And that brings up Nick Castellanos. And he is going to ground to second and be out. So we go to the top of the third with Evan Longoria leading off for my Providence grades. And he strikes out. Tom Murphy, there's a lot of strikeouts in this game. And he strikes out. That brings up Timmy Anderson. And he strikes out. So Cole struck out the side. We go to the bottom of the third in a 0-0 game with Didi Gregorius batting against the newly acquired Bumgarner, and he strikes out. This is, man, uh, this is, I haven't seen this many strikeouts in my life. That was a ground out to the pitcher, and now Buxton's up with two outs, and nobody on, and he hits a tri triple one to five double, and it turns out to be a double. And that brings up the Andy Diaz. He gets a pop out. So, Caseville scores nothing, and we go to the top of the fourth in a nothing-nothing game with Bryce Harper up. And he strikes out. Joey Gallo is now up, and he strikes out. And that brings up Trey Mancini, and he walks for the second time. 
And that brings up Hunter Pence, the newly acquired Hunter Pence from Bob Down, and he strikes out. So uh, we have, I don't, you know, you could have a drinking game. How many times people are striking out in this game? Uh, Miguel Sano will face uh, Bumgarner in the bottom of the fourth. And he hits a home run, which might be the game winner right there with the way this game is going. But Hunter Renfro is up, and Caseville now has a one nothing lead, and that is going to be apparently a fly ball, and it is. DJ LeMayhew strikes out, and that brings up Carson Kelly. And Carson Kelly strikes out. And now we got Grichik up in the top of the fifth. We need a home run pretty badly, and he grounds out. So Ned Odor is up. And he strikes out. Longoria is up. The only good thing is every single guy that comes up for me has a chance of hitting a home run. Now, that was a fly to left, and that was Castiano, so he probably couldn't get to the ball with a double, I'm going to guess. So Tom Murphy's up with Longoria at second and two outs, and me trailing by a run, and that's a ground ball to second, and it's an out. So Nick Castiano is up against Bumgarner, and he hits a single. Uh, I'm going to pitch to Gregorius, who is up next. He lines out to third base, and that brings in G Man Choi. And he hits a fly ball, so now there's two down. With Byron Buxton up, who doubled the last time that he was up, and he is the catcher, makes an error, I suppose, and so he's still up to play. And now Castellanos on second, and that's a fly to left, and it's an out. So, he still only has one run, and we go to the top of the sixth, losing one nothing with Tim Anderson leading off against Cole. He grounds out. Bryce Harper's up. He strikes out. Gallo is up. And Gallo hits a double. Oh, man, I really needed that to go out. Uh, so Trey Mancini's up. Let's see if he can, uh, he hits a home run. Trey Mancini looks like with a two run jack. So now we've got Hunter Pence up and we're leading 2-1. And that's going to be a walk. And Garrett Cole is tired. So we're going to guess that we knocked Garrett Cole out of the game, which is awesome. And Grichik is up. Let's see if that happens. Yes. And he brings in Velazquez to pitch to Grichik. And that's going to be a walk. And now Ruffnet Odor is up. And he pops out to short. So I'm leading 2-1. I'm still going to keep Bumgarner out there to pitch to Yandy Diaz to lead it off here. And that's a strikeout plus injury. And he was temporarily injured. And he'll miss the, but he will miss the rest of the game. And that brings up Miguel Silno, who hits a ground ball to short, and Timmy Anderson takes care of it. And now Hunter Renfro is up. And that's going to be a ground ball to short, but Anderson can't handle it. Renfro's aboard with DJ Lemayhew up and two down. And, uh,. That's a home run. That's a two-run home run. My God. All right, they're back ahead now. Caseville's back ahead 3-2 to two with Carson Kelly up at the plate. And that's a single. And now Bumgarner's tired. I'm going to see if he can get, at least get through this inning. No, he really can't. That's a home run. And now he's really tired. Didi Gregorius is up, but now I'm just going to let him ride out the inning, and he does get out of the inning finally, but we're now losing 5-2. to two. And that'll bring up Longoria against Vazquez, and that's a double one to five single. Give it a single, and Tom Murphy up with Longoria aboard and no outs, and that's a uh, pop to the catcher, and it's an out. Timmy Anderson's up with one down. I mean, at first, and that's a double one to 12, single double asterisks. And it actually is a double. So now we've got runners at second and third with one out and Harper up against Vasquez. And that's a strikeout. And that brings up Joey Gallo. And he strikes out. 
So uh, that's uh, we're going to the bottom of the seven, and I am going to take um, Bumgarner out now. Uh, we're down five to two. So um, not the best of situations, but I will bring in Jace Fry to pitch for us. There he is. He's pitching against the G-Man. G-Man Choi. Single one to three is an out. Byron Buxton up. That's going to be a double. Just a straightforward double. And now Buxton's on second with one out. And Justin up and up. And he gets a single. Uh, I'm, I'm going to play the infield back still. I mean, we're down by too many to worry about. And that's good. It was a double play. And so we got out of the inning. So we're still down five to two, and we're going to the top of the eighth with Trey Mancini up against Vasquez, who is still pitching for him, and that's a strikeout. Hunter Pence is up. Hunter Pence strikes out, and that brings up Gritchick, and Gritchick strikes out. So we are going to the bottom of the eighth, and I'm going to keep Fry out there against Renfro, and he walks Renfro. And Jace Fry is already tired, but I'm going to keep him out there at least for this batter. And that's a shortstop X, which is a double play. And now I'm going to try to keep him out there to get through this inning. And that's a ground ball A. So he did get out of the inning. But we're in the top of the ninth now, and we're still losing by three runs. And we got Odor up. Um, I'm going to say I want to pinch hit because a home run right here is about all he would do. And we don't need that as much as we need somebody on base. So uh, Velasquez is a righty. Uh, Left-handed hitter would be nice or even a switch hitter. Yeah, I'll do weeders. We'll pinch hit weeders for Odor. And weeders is up. Uh, and he hits a ground ball to short and he's out. Longoria is up. Longoria with a single one to five, but it's a line out, and that brings up Tom Murphy. And that's a strikeout, so we lose. Let's go to the box score. Uh, let's see. Bumgarner, six innings, he struck out six. It seemed like a lot more, but Cole struck out 12. That's the guy I was thinking about, 12 strikeouts for Cole in only five and two-thirds innings. And even Velazquez had six strikeouts in three and a third. So apparently my team is not big on contact. Um, but, you know, we, we lost five to two. Uh, it's a good game for a little while. So Bumgarner in his first spring debut for the uh, Providence Grays, not real good. And I just want to remind everybody. Subscribe to the channel and send it to people you think might be interested. Talk about the channel. Tell other people. Ring the bell so that you know when I have new videos out. And we will be doing other spring training preseason type games against other teams in the league so that you can get a look at the other teams and see what they're like and also get a feel for what my team is like. Um, but for right now, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.